Hi folks, and welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. I'm Dave Herbert, and today we're going to talk about the Vectron. This has some very sophisticated electronic equipment in it that makes it fly. So let's take a look at it, and I'll explain the theory of operation. Okay, I've had this Vectron for quite a few years actually, and I'm going to show you uh, the parts it's made up of and how it works. The, uh, the outside body of this is made out of a foam material. There is a set of LEDs right here that are used during the programming phase for messages. It has three separate motors that all rotate in the same direction, which is counterclockwise. It has a brain in the middle here with a LED infrared beam emitter and this sends a signal out to the transmitter which is received by this collector right there on top. Every time this beam goes around it shoots a beam out telling the transmitter where it is at all times. And so that means as long as it knows where it is at all times, it can adjust each individual propeller accordingly to make it turn left or right. Since it knows where it's at, it will always, when you push forward, no matter where it's at spinning, it will always go away from you. And so um, let's take a little closer. The motors have a gearing and the small pinion gear actually uh, flew off of this years ago on these two motors and that caused uh, it to never fly again. So I happened to be going through some of my old servo gears and I found a 10 tooth gear in here that actually fit on here and I've pushed those on and now the uh, unit is working. So let's uh, look at it a little closer. The Vectron came with a base to set it on and what you do, you fill this with water first to weight it down so it's nice and heavy and then you can set your Vectron on top of this and that will be your takeoff station. The Vectron has a power supply. It actually puts out 22 volts and uh, DC and runs into the controller here. And the controller has a turbo mode and your mode button. Right now it's locked on turbo for high speed control. Vectron has a wire and you can run it through the hole in the center of this base station so when uh, you take off it will only go so high uh, on the wire so here's where you can learn how to fly this this way it depends on how you can make the wire as long or as short as you want or you can completely take it off and untether it so uh, and fly it directly from the transmitter so let's take a look at the operation again the Vectron uses a new concept in hovering flight. Uh, most vertical takeoff and landing aircraft uh, rely on extensive and delicate gyro stabilization systems to remain stable when you're hovered. Uh, the Vectron is not necessary because the whole body rotates and this provides all the gyroscopic stability necessary to hover. The trick is providing the directional control once it's hovering. And this is done by an amazing process of continuously changing the power to all three motors as they rotate in such a way as to provide vectored control of the vehicle. This is all accomplished by the thrust vector computer inside the controller right here. Uh, for that to coordinate your control inputs and provide the right motor speed, the signals have to have some reference to the position of the Vectron as it rotates and that is provided by the infrared reference beam and there is a uh, beam being projected right out of that LED right there infrared uh, LED it sends a signal out a beam and it hits the transmitter dome here and figures out where it's at and sends a signal back to another LED which is in the same direction so we've got one aimed up here and one down here. This would be the receiving one on that motor. And that's the only ones in that. This is the controller. The IR beam strikes here 
and this is in your autopilot mode, manual, and turbo mode. And uh, it controls almost like a helicopter, your fore and aft and left and right cyclic and your throttle up and down. And since it spins all the time, there's no tail rotor. So let's take a look at how it works. First it comes up to speed. When it reaches a certain speed, we start to get a message. It says Vectron. And I will run it up the throttle on the throttle stick now. And see, it's being restrained by that wire. Life's pretty good. Those little LEDs is the only thing that makes those words, so uh, let's give it a shot here. I'm going to change it to my name now. Let's fly. Got a lot of zip too. Let's go up. Up. <laughs> 